Good day to everybody. Uh, my name's Jay. I've been in the uh, automotive field about 45 years now. Uh, we're going to discuss uh, rack safety today. Uh, the first thing I'd like to point out is the position of the rack when before I pull the car on the uh, lit up to the lift. Uh, is you know, sir, uh, as far out as I can get them, I've set it over here to show you what you don't want to do. You don't want to rack like this because when you pull the vehicle on, you could possibly puncture a tire, scratch a wheel, or do other damage to the vehicle. Um, the first thing I want to point out is all vehicles have a lift point. Uh, we, we have to be looking at a Mercedes-Benz today, and it has an actual pad underneath of here that would set each one of the uh, each one of the uh, arms under. Now once I get them all set to the point that I, I know that they're safe to, to raise on, I'll go over and raise the rack. <clears throat> and the rack that I'm working off of has the button here to raise it up. It also has a safety right here. I'm gonna hold down to eliminate the uh, clicking noise. At roughly uh, six inch intervals, it, it locks in. Once the uh, vehicle is uh, raised all the way up, I've released my safety here. I push this button and it lets it down on the safety, which makes it safe to get under. Uh, just want to point out, on the, again, on the Mercedes-Benz, we have lift pads here. You notice how I'm centered in it. Uh, and I've done the same all the way around. Uh, in order to lower the vehicle, you have to raise it back up off the lift. Hold down on the safety and then let it down. At any point during the uh, raising and lower of the vehicle, you can stop it, release the safety, and let it down on it. <clears throat> I would uh, strongly recommend just making sure that, that safety works uh, at least once a day and inspect it for any wear and tear once a month. 